Hello friends, welcome back to Biotech Simplified. Today we will discuss about another medicinal plant which is Eagle Marmalos. First, let us discuss about habitat and distribution. This plant is native to India and is grown all over the country. Especially it is seen in the premises of temples. So, the Eagle Marmalos is native to India. So now let us look what are its habits. It is a medium sized plant and it is a deciduous tree. It has sharp axillary thorns and its bark is yellowish brown. Its leaf is alternate, trifoliate and aromatic. So now through this diagram let us describe its habitat. So as you can see in the diagram, they have a sharp axillary throne. So these are the sharp axillary thorns that are present in the plant. And the leaves are alternate and it is trifoliate. So trifoliate means that it is a leaf which is arranged in three leaflets. So, a leaf which is arranged in three leaflets is called trifoliate. So, as you can see in the diagram, this branch consists of three leaflets. So, it means that this is a trifoliate arrangement. The tree you can see in the diagram is Eagle Marmalos. So, as you can see in the diagram, it is a medium sized tree. It is a medium sized deciduous tree. Deciduous tree means that it is a tree which falls its leaf at certain period and it regrows in other period. So certain season the leaves fall and in other season the leaves regrow. So its bark is yellowish brown in color and its leaves is aromatic. That is these leaves have a special scent. So now let us discuss the useful parts. The useful parts is root bark, fruit and leaves. So these are the three useful parts that are seen in Eagle Marmalos which is root bark, fruit and leaves. So now let us discuss the morphology of the useful parts. First let us discuss the morphology of leaves. So as we have discussed earlier, the arrangement of the leaves is alternate and three leaflets are present in a branch which means that it is trifoliate. So the arrangement is alternate and the leaves are trifoliate which means that in a branch there are three leaflets. So when in a branch there are three leaflets, it is known as trifoliate. And these leaflets are entire and it is aromatic. So, these leaves are also glabrous. Glabrous means that these leaflets are smooth, which means that they do not have any hairs on them. So, these leaflets are smooth, they do not have any hairs on them so they have a smooth surface so the morphology of the leaf is that it is trifoliate it is alternate it is alternate means that if a leaflet branch arises from here the next branch arises from here that is it is in an alternate manner so this morphology is that it is trifoliate it is alternate and these leaflets are entire. At the same time, it is glabrous. That is, the leaves are smooth. And these leaves have an aroma in them. That is, these leaves are aromatic. Now, let us discuss the fruit morphology. The shape of the fruit is subspherical to spear shape. So if you look at the diagram, the first diagram is that the fruit shape is pear shape. 
whereas in the second diagram it is in a spherical shape so the fruit morphology is that it is from sub spherical to pea shape so the fruit is large and it has a hard rind that is the skin that covers the fruit is hard and the fruit is 8 to 15 chambered and each chamber has 10 or more seeds in them so this is about the fruit morphology that the fruit is sub spherical to pear shape and the fruit has a hard rind its chamber is 8 to 15 and each chamber has 10 or more seeds in them the fruit has a hard rind and it is 8 to 15 chambered so in each chamber there are many seeds so in each chamber there are many seeds so this is the fruit morphology so now let us discuss about the root morphology so the roots are light pinkish gray in color and these roots are cylindrical and it has prominent lenticels so these lenticels are present for the uh, air exchange so the root bark is yellow or grayish in color and these roots is slightly aromatic so these are the root morphology so the root is light pinkish gray in color and these roots is cylindrical and it has prominent lenticels so the root bark is yellow or gray in color and it is slightly aromatic so now let us discuss the phytochemicals that are present in the plant eglin marmalin scopolamin scopolamin amblypharon eglinor ethylene cyanamide sandotoxor and marmalosin are the phytochemicals that are present in agel marmalos so now let us discuss the pharmaceutical uses the intestinal disorders diabetics diarrhea mouth ulcer dysentery are the pharmaceutical uses So now let us describe the traditional uses of agel marmalos. So different parts of the plant was used for curing different diseases. So in different treatments different parts of the plant was used. So diseases like asthma, brain typhoid troubles during pregnancy, anemia, fractures, healing of wounds, swollen joints, high blood pressure, jaundice, diarrhea were the diseases that were cured using this traditional medicine so now we will discuss the uses of the leaf extract of agel marmalos so it is used for the diabetes so diabetes is or the blood sugar level is lowered using the leaf extract of agel marmalos so this works similar to insulin as we all know when insulin enters the body it lowers the sugar level or the glucose level present in the body so similarly when the leaf extract is been consumed by a person it lowers the sugar level present in the blood so the consumption of leaf extract of agel marmalos reduces the blood sugar level that is it has an ability to utilize the external glucose load that is present in the body so which means that the sugar that is present in the body is being consumed by the leaf extract so in turn it reduces the sugar present in the blood so it prevents diabetes so the leaf extracts that is the medicated oil from these leaf extract is also used for recurrent cold and respiratory infections the leaf extract is also used for 
treatment of wounds and jaundice. Also used for the treatment of conjunctivitis and deafness. So leaf extract is used for various purposes like diabetes, for cold and respiratory infections, jaundice, the treatment of wounds, for the treatment of conjunctivitis and deafness. Today we discussed about the medicinal plant Agal Marmelos. Hope it is clear. For more such videos, do subscribe to our channel Biotech Simplified. If you like the video, please like and share with your friends.